Well, it's official. I'm done. What is up everybody? My name is Jack Quinn and today is going to be kind of a sentimental video on the channel. I haven't been posting as much and I apologize for that. I've been very busy with a lot of things as the school year was ending and as you can see today, I've graduated. Four long years. Four grueling long high school years. It paid off. I've got the diploma. 13 years of schooling through kindergarten all the way through 12th grade. This past once gets stuck in my ear. But class of 2023 is finally here. And I've graduated. There's been so many things that has gone on throughout my life and throughout high school and I've just pushed through and pushed through and I'm now here I'm here I'm graduating it's it's Wednesday and depending on when this video gets out it's probably gonna be Thursday but my graduation was today Wednesday the 23rd or 24th excuse me the 24th of May we're having a party to celebrate my graduation with friends and family. I had uh, my family uh, here uh, supporting me. I've had my friends here. And it honestly is awesome. I, I didn't expect to, to be here. There was a lot of things that were going on behind the scenes that not a whole lot of people knew. Uh, and you guys didn't know. And it was stuff that was going on behind the scenes. And I just kept pushing through. And we're here. We've, we've graduated. We've, 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 we've hit the milestone. We've, we've hit it. We've hit that, that high bit. We've got the diploma. And, you know, the last couple of years, this channel has just blossomed. It, it's it's blossomed and that was that all happened while I was in high school like yeah I started the channel when I was in middle school but the channel really kind of took off <laughs> while I was in high school uh, with a couple of videos so it, it's really awesome to, to have that and to see that um, and just kind of going through it This whole thing is, I didn't think it was possible to be here, to say that I've graduated. And it's not because like, I, oh, I wasn't a good student. I, I, I was smart. Yeah, I may not have done some of the work, but I got through my classes and I passed. It was more so the mental side of things. And, you know, through the first... Pretty much all my all four years, I dealt with pushback. I dealt with people trying to put me down. Um, I dealt with accusations that were false and that were proven false on multiple occasions. Um, and I dealt with just setback after setback. And for the longest time, I didn't have a support system. And until this year, and. That's all thanks to my band director, Mr. Hartley, um, and the theater director, Mrs. Hartley. Uh, yes, they are married. They are married. They will both work at my school. Um, but Miss Hartley was the theater director my sophomore year. But I never worked with Miss with Miss Hartley, ever up until this year. And Mr. Hartley came in to be our new band director after our old band director, Mr. Hadfield, left. Uh, which, 
I don't really like Hatfield. He was kind of an ass, and the way that he kind of left the band was... He left it in a not-so-good state, so to say. And Mr. Hartley came in, and he implemented his ideologies and ideals that he had in Vegas, and he implemented his own system. And it, it, it worked, you know? And this year was arguably the most fun I had in band uh, with, with Mr. Hartley. He made band fun again. He's the reason why I got back into playing that, uh, playing the drum set. And that's why like drum covers are coming back onto the channel. Um, and he helped re like relit that spark for music. And he's helped me with music. And this year was a challenge because I was one of the section leaders for our program. I was the percussion section leader. So not only did I have to figure out my stuff, but I also had to be a leader role. And that took a toll on me mentally, as well as just other stuff going on on the side. That it took a toll. And when I had things going on, he was there and he was willing to help. And working with him, I ended up working with the theater uh, director, Mrs. Hartley. Or Miss Hartley. Um, and, you know, after, after the first couple months of doing credit retrieval, I became a student aide for Mr. Hartley, uh, for the band class, for his intermediate jazz. But I got split between the two of them. There were some days where I'd work with Mr. Hartley, and there was other days where I worked with the other Hartley in theater. And that was her, her theater tech one. And I never took theater tech. I didn't take the CTE course. I'm not CTE certified. <laughs> but she trusted me enough to help build some of the sets. She trusted me with some of the power tools. She trusted me to help some of the students in that class with building things. And with designing and all that and I became an honorary a honorary theater tech through that and so that was cool and to be able to work with her was fun and then I ended up being casted in the first show of the year uh, it was uh, you can't take it with you and I was playing uh, Ed Carmichael and my character is a percussionist he plays mallet percussion and I'm not a mallet percussionist so I had to sit and learn how to play like I know like some of the keys and I know where the keys are but it was like the notations on paper so I had to sit and try and figure that out and play a piece in front of everybody for the show I had to sit and play a piece for the show on mallet percussion so that was fun and Overall, like, they have been there as a support system. They've been there and fought for me and with me and have offered themselves to be available when I need it. And that's something that I haven't had since my counselor left a couple years ago. Because before, it was, my, it was my counselor that was my support system, and she left. And I didn't really know the new counselor and never really got a chance to really know her. And don't get me wrong, she's Miss Lou is a sweet person. Uh, she's really awesome. But I never got a chance to really know her and get close to her, unlike my previous counselor, Miss Carol. So having the Hartleys be there and have that support was incredible to me, and it helped me a lot. I'm, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take these off because they're they're getting a bit heavy. <laughs> um, and they honestly helped so much and they helped the program the Hartleys helped the band program so much uh, our band program went from being like bottom of the barrel to way up here and you know a couple weeks ago at the awards banquet for band this is where I got my graduation cords it's pink I know that's the color for performing arts and for the seniors, for band, the band seniors, he gave us this. Uh, this was something that he had given us. 
This is our band logo, and it was kind of a, it was a thank you gift from Hartley to the seniors because this was his first group of seniors um, since coming back to Shadow. Because he was he was a band director, I think like the second or third band director at Shadow Ridge, and then he left to go to Mojave High School, and then he was the band director at Vegas High School for a few years, and then he came back. Um, and this was the first group of seniors that he had since coming back. And I honestly wish I had more time with him. I honestly wish I got to work with him a bit more. Um, but for what he's done for the program has been incredible. And what he's done for me and just support has been incredible. And obviously I had a lot of teachers throughout all the years of high school, uh, freshman year, my English teacher, Mr. Bushman, who's ironically enough now a counselor, um, he made English fun my freshman year. And the way that he structured his class was really easy to follow. It was really easy to kind of get a hold of things, follow along with things. And it was actually one of my best years of English ever. <laughs> uh, and then sophomore year, I was on, it was all online. I was back during the pandemic. So that school year was all online. So that year was really tough. I didn't really have any standout teachers. Um, only one that I can think of was my geometry teacher who is now a junior studies teacher, uh, Ms. Becker. She kind of helped out during online courses with geometry. Um, and so she helped me be able to pass her class during the online year. So that was really cool. And then my junior year, we got back from the pandemic. We still had to wear masks for like the first half of the school year, which was fine with me. I didn't care about it. I was just glad to be back in, in school, physically in school, taking classes normally. So I was, I was just happy about that. And I had a couple of teachers that year that kind of helped out. Um, I, had, I took an imaginative writing course uh, during that year, and Mr. Flynn, who's still the teacher there, still the imaginative writing teacher, that class was really fun. I met a, a couple of great friends um, through that class, uh, and it was just really cool to be able to share like the creativeness in that because that's I'm always a good I've, I'm a writer, uh, writer. Um, I've written a couple of like little short stories, and I'm currently working on a couple of books myself for little novels. Um, but that class was really fun and it allowed me to kind of be more natural and be more myself. And it was honestly a really fun class. Uh, and my U.S. history teacher, uh, Mr. Warren, uh, me and him, we'd literally sit before and even after class, like when we're done with all this, with our work for that class, we'd sit and we'd talk about hockey. <laughs> you know, we'd, we'd sit and we'd talk about hockey. Despite the fact he's a Kings fan, I'm a Sharks fan, um, but we always sat and we talked about hockey, and it was just, it was good, like, just genuine communication with hockey, and conversations about hockey. It wasn't like, oh, your team's trash, you guys suck, fuck you, and all that. It was very mature conversations, and that was really cool. And we also taught, had a couple of conversations about the Michigan-Ohio State rivalry. He's a Michigan fan. I'm an Ohio State fan. Uh, the Ohio State fan. Um, and so we'd always had that rivalry. So that was, that was cool to kind of have that friendly, friendly little rivalry with college football and hockey. But we had one common interest. We hated, we hated Vegas. We hated the Vegas Golden Knights. Still do to this day. We laugh at their misfortunes. Ha ha! But I can't really say that now. They're about to win the Western Conference with a 3 0 lead over the Dallas Stars. Come on, Dallas. Do your thing. Um, but overall, it's junior year was a lot of fun uh, with just those two teachers. And then this year, obviously, Mr. Hartley, he's done a lot and has really made my senior year kind of worthwhile. Um, 
I may not have had the uh, most of friends um, due to just situations and not really being outgoing, but I did make quite a few friends, uh, a couple of friends this year um, at the end of it that I hope to keep in contact with uh, in some sort of capacity over the next years. Um, and then just some of the friends that I've had that have kind of stuck with me throughout every year. Um, I've even had a couple of friends that I went to middle school with who went to different schools that I still talk to and still try and hang out with every now and then. <laughs> um, so the se my senior year was a lot of fun. I got to do some of the things that I wanted to do, but overall, I'm happy to be done. I'm happy to be done with high school and done with the, like required schooling. And I'm glad I'm out of that school, out of Shadow Ridge, because it wasn't overly the best for me, just in general. But there are going to be some things I'm going to miss. Uh, I'm going to miss going out Friday night at the football field, playing, playing game, playing the football, playing at the football games uh, with the band up in the stands, performing our marching band show during halftime playing the fight song every time we scored, um, being able to go to state championship games uh, this school year and last school year was really fun. Um, that's like That was like the first two times we've ever made state championships for football, uh, as our football programs kind of sucked. Uh, but last year, our football program was really good, and we pretty much were, we were undefeated in our division. Um, but then the conference, we like, we lost one game, we lost one game in the conference. Uh, and that was to, um, Silverado actually. And we ended up playing Silverado in the ch state championship game. Both games that we played Silverado, they kicked our ass, but it was still really fun to play at the state championship game. It was really fun playing at Allegiant. Um, but I think I had more fun this year at Allegiant Stadium, um, and you guys were able to see that. I wasn't really able to do that with Hadfield. To be able to do that with Hartley, with Mr. Hartley, that was, that was really cool. Um, and just this year in band was just a whole lot more fun this year in band. Like, at the football games, I had more fun, um, and even at the state championship game, I had a lot more fun. And, you know, that's going to be something I'm going to miss is going out Friday night and having that Thursday or that one, one Thursday in the year for Thursday Night Lights going out and playing, lining up on the fields by the tunnel, playing the fight song as the players rush out, uh, playing the anthem, and then going into the stands and playing our pep band tunes. And that's going to be something I'm going to miss. Um band concerts and band rehearsals, despite how dreadful and tiring they were, I'm gonna miss those. Um, I'm gonna miss doing that stuff. Uh, I'm gonna miss the marching band competitions, and actually playing, and no matter how stressful they were, they were always fun. Um, you know, I'm gonna miss, I'm gonna miss the competitions probably the most because I love I loved marching band it was something that I wanted to do since I was in middle school and I got introduced to marching band uh, through a middle school band director uh, Mr. Truitt and it was something that I wanted to do when I get when I got into high school and you know my junior year was the first year I actually marched uh, my freshman year I was in front ensemble pit so I didn't march, but it was still really cool to kind of experience, like, this is what marching band is, this is what competitions are like, this is how everything works. And then sophomore year, everything was online, so we didn't have a, a marching year. And so I was, I was bummed, that was, one, that was something that I wanted to do that I missed during that year. And then last year, my junior year, being able to march, even though our show really sucked we were supposed to have three movements but we only had one we only had one movement 
and it was very shit well put together. <laughs> it wasn't very well put together, so to say. Uh, so we scored really bad. We Our highest score that year was like almost five points lower than our like lowest score this year. <laughs> so it was... That year was rough, but it was fun actually marching and learning how to read dot sheets as it was for all those for all you people that marched that did marching band you guys know what dot sheets are so it was interesting and cool trying to figure out how to read that um and then this year i unfortunately didn't march this year i was again put in pit but this time we weren't in the front we were kind of placed towards the back um and had the sound go forward for pit rather than having to listen back the band had to listen back to us and that was really cool i was on drum set for that where freshman year i was on auxiliary this year i was on drum set and that was it was really cool the um, we didn't have a marching drum line because uh, we didn't have enough percussionists it was plain and simple we didn't have enough percussionists to have a full pit and a full marching drum line so we had to sacrifice one or the other and at the beginning of the year hartley uh, sat me down and kind of spoke with me when i talked about like interviewed for being a section leader and he said what would you rather have would you rather have a pit or would you have a march uh, a drum line and i said i would like a drum line because i was only able to march that one year and i want to be able to continue to march but if a sacrifice were to be made i feel like having a full pit could be good it could be beneficial for us uh and it did and he and he kind of went in and explained like why having a full pit would be better for us because a lot of our musical score is based off of pit and a lot of our general effects come from pit as well. So having that full pit was really awesome. And the show honestly worked better with pit than the recording, listening to the recordings, the drum line sounds weird with it. And then watching another school from a couple years ago do the same show from like a different state, the drum line sounded weird with the show. So having this pit only, I feel like worked really well with our show. Um, it was a bummer we didn't make finals. Uh, that was one of the goals was to make championships and make finals, which we went out, did the competition, and then we placed like half a point from making finals. So it, it sucked. Um, but the overall improvement from last year to this year couldn't have been done without Hartley. Like he that was the main reason why we improved so much was because of him and he did he did so much for the band um but just overall these four years i've grown as a poor, as a person I've, I've grown as a person mentally and physically i've matured as a person mentally and physically um there are times where I still make mistakes and slip up and make the same mistakes, but I try and not have that happen as much as it should. And I pretty much went through hell and back the last couple of years, this year and last year. And I'm just glad I got this out of the way. And this cha this chapter of my life is officially closed. It was a good, there was a lot of great memories. There was a lot of bad memories. But memories nonetheless, I'll still remember them. But at the end of the day, I'm happy. And the next step in life is college. I'm going to go to CSN for a couple of years, get general education out the way, and the goal is going to be uh, in journalism, sports broadcasting to be exact, sports journalism, journalism. And the goal is to be a part of a broadcasting team for either racing or for hockey um but thank you guys for being a part of this chapter closing in my life 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget, we do have a partnership with Doobie Energy still. Uh, use promo code QUIN77 to get 10% off. And as always, I'll see you guys in the very next episode. Peace.